All right, welcome back into Sports Daily, everybody. Jacob Albrock, Tommy Caster, Paul Savage joining us as we get ready for another Wichita Sports Hall of Fame induction today. Uh, one that a lot of people are going to recognize Mr. Savage here with us. We have royalty from Wichita State with us today. Randy Birds, fellas, this is an amazing basketball player. Played for Wichita State from 2001 to 2005. What a career at Wichita State he had. Fellas, he was the number nine scorer of all time in the history of Wichita State basketball with 1,599 points. He's number one in three-point shooting with 248 made three-pointers, number 15 in field goals with 511, number 16 in free throws with 329 made, number six with 115 games started, and number 10, in the in the history of this program with 3,395 minutes. Fellas, it is an honor indeed, one of the top ten scorers in the history of Wichita State, Randy Burns. Randy, how are you? And my first question is, number nine score with 1,599 points. Why can't you get one more point and get up and over 1,600? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, it's an honor. Um, if I had known that I was one point away, maybe I would have drove to the lane one more time, tried to get to the line or something like that. <laughs> there you go. Jacob? Randy, I, I love hearing from former Shockers that have been such a big part of the greatness of the program and love getting you all's perspective on where things stand right now. How have you been with the new hire, the, the progress being made? Where are you at with the current state of Shocker basketball? Uh, well, you know, I got a chance to um, see them play when they came down here and played against U of H. Uh, I got to see them a, a few times over the years, but um, I've just been rooting from afar. You know, I'm always there with you guys in spirit. Um, I've seen the success uh, that's been going on since I left and uh, you know I've always felt like uh, a big part of that and so you know it's always an honor and a pleasure to see uh, something that I was a part of um, to help build and um, you know it's just a great thing. Randy I gotta ask you here so uh, you know playing at Wichita State when you did uh, playing under Mark Turgeon I really feel like, and I was here in Wichita during that time, I, I remember what the program was like before you were there and before Mark Turgeon coached and all the great players that he brought in, and then the, the growth of the program during that time that you played and that Turgeon coached and the other guys were there. Uh, what does that mean to you, knowing that that era of Shocker basketball really helped turn the program around and, you know, really laid the foundation for the way that Shocker basketball became. Oh man, it's everything. It, it means a lot to me. Like, honestly, and truly it, uh, when I look back at the story and, and how I was recruited there. And like you said, whether, whether, um, the program was at before we got there and just all the hard work we put in to try to turn the program around and to actually, uh, have that happen, you know, it, it means a whole lot. It means a whole lot to me. And all of the players that, that played there with me as well, I'm sure. Um, it's a it, it's a heck of a story from my, from my perspective. I know that Coach Turgeon and Coach Boyle, Coach Roan, Coach Prelo, all of those coaches, um, like you said, uh, we were like the the first recruiting class uh, we, I think we had like four freshmen, six players overall. Um, I was the least recruited out there. I always like to throw that in there. That's a part of my story. I was the least recruited. I didn't play any AAU basketball. So for me, it's ex extra special um, to, to, to be able to go there and, um, you know, kind of make my mark. And we all made our mark. And to really just be the foundation of something very special and to turn the program around, man, it means a whole lot. I really can't even put it in words. I always look back at that um, that whole experience, and it's, it's you know it for it to come back around like this and to be able to um, make the Wichita Hall of Fame, man, that's just uh, it's it. <laughs> I'm lost for words sometimes. Well, before you get too complimentary of the Wichita Sports Hall of Fame, I want you to know we've talked extensively with Jamar Howard about you. 
I've got stories that I'm not sure you want us to get out on the radio today. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm joking. <laughs> Jamar's stories were good. They were fun. But talk a little about some of your teammates. I mean, here you're playing with another top 10 scorer in the history of the Shocker basketball program and Jamar Howard. But you had Jamar and some other teammates. Talk a little about the teammates that uh, you felt especially good about, especially close to, and who you thought were especially important to the success while you, your success while you were at Wichita State. Man, everyone from top to bottom, actually, man, everybody has their own unique personality and what they brought to the team and what they brought to the table that I really appreciate. To start with Jamar, man, when I first met him, you know, he's just all energy, all smiles. He was the same every day um, on the court, off the court, in the dorms. Um, he made it fun. He was the hardest worker I had ever seen, the hardest the hardest player that I've ever seen. He, he was super athletic. He was, you know, he was amazing. When I first, like I said, I didn't play AAU basketball at all. So when I first, you know, got a load of Jamar, I was blown away. You know, he was running all day. He was playing great defense. He was he was he was just a, a different breed. He was a different breed, Jamar was. Um Paul Miller, Rob Campman, um man, everybody. Uh who is either some 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 even some other players, even the the the, the, the kids, the the guys that red shirted. Um I know even after that, um, you know, we had some some players recruited that were from Houston that I, that I knew, um, like P.J. Cousinard, Kevin Bradley. They all played a, an integral role in the development of uh, you know of, of 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 how we did things in practice and and how good we were able to become. You know, the the, the practices we had going to war, man, it was it was it was an experience that I obviously had had an experience again it was just it was just great so I'm, i know jamar stands out even Dion cheryl like people that came in with me they ended up transferring and stuff like that but they all played a huge part in um the development of of us as shockers and um man i mean i i got stories it's, it's just crazy uh on the court off the court um yeah it's a, it's a lot of stuff it, my 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 uh my friend Nicholas Rogers came to Wichita State with me, and um, yeah, it was just a great experience. All, all of the players from top to bottom, they all had their their uh, played their part in it, and uh, we all have special relationships. Jamie Sowers, Randy, I want to Coleman, <laughs> all of those players. I'm 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 kind of losing names and losing track, but everybody. I'll give you a chance to pinpoint one other thing then. I, I just I'm curious as you look back to you know Coke Arena and all the greatness of you know being here and a part of the program. What is your favorite memory as a player? You know on the court type memory of being a Shocker. Um, probably when we took down Creighton, they were ranked. Um, it was probably our first time uh, being a ranked team when I was there. And I know Creighton had Kyle Corver. We all know he went on to have a, a great NBA career. But when we took them down and uh, like, what do we had, what do we move to the arena that we had to, we had to move to the arena. I think it was my sophomore year. Uh, you know, when we had the, 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 the crowd storm the court, you know, stuff like that. I can't really see uh, another experience that was better than that. Cause we didn't actually get to make the tournament. We were in the NIT tournament. We made the NIT tournament, but when we beat Creighton, uh, that meant a lot, and that was that was a real fun experience to have the, the fans storm the court. What was that? What was that uh, Levitt Arena? No, it was, I can't remember the the name. Paul, of do arena. you know the answer to that? That was prior I, to my I, time. I, here. I think you're talking about uh, Intrust Bank Arena, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, yeah, w wherever it was, it was a heck of an experience. Um, I didn't play so well that game, but I remember uh, the crowd storming the court and just being able to play against the ranked team. Um, and beat them, take them down at home. You know that that was that was great. Well, it's great having you on the show today, and it's great. I've got to get this squared around. I, you know, as I've researched your career, um, I couldn't find any Hall of Fames that you're in uh, uh, at this point. Is this your first induction? 
Oh, absolutely. Well, you're yeah, going yeah. into the Wichita State Hall of Fame one of these days. I'm sure of that. There might might be some others I know uh, from your from your career. But you know something, Jacob, it's kind of cool. Tommy is kind of cool in a way. We're going to actually be Randy Burns' first Hall of Fame induction. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. <laughs> and we've come to that part of the show, Randy, where it's time to induct you. And uh, we will – Send you your plaque in the mail here, just not too far down the road. And uh, but I want you to know how much it means to the city of Wichita to have had you in our presence for the time that we had you. And at this point, Randy, this is the uh, part where we officially induct you. You have been elected, you have been nominated, and you are now inducted into the Wichita Sports Hall of Fame, and you have all the rights and privileges pertaining to such an honor. So with that being said, Randy Birds, it's an honor to induct you into the Wichita Sports Hall of Fame. Congratulations, my friend. You deserve this honor. Oh, man, I really appreciate it. The pleasure's all mine. It's it's an honor. Uh, I thank everybody that that uh, nominated me, the whole city of Wichita, and it's just an honor, and to God be the glory. Well, Randy, it's awesome. You've got a few listeners and viewers on our video stream telling you congratulations as well. Once a shocker, always a shocker, right? We uh, we appreciate the time, and, and we've been happy to, uh, to, to do this here on this program. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate everybody. Um, appreciate the congratulations, and um, shockers. Go shockers. That's right. They're they're. <laughs> They're coming back. Randy, we appreciate it. There goes Randy Burns, wow. the latest Wichita Sports Hall of Fame inductee. Uh, a nice reminder of just the many generations of great shockers and uh, in great shocker basketball. That's cool, Paul, to get him that first induction into uh, into a Hall of Fame like that. Would you Nicely have guessed done. that? I mean, would you have guessed no. that we would be the first? You know, I figured well, high school I don't or know. So- somewhere yeah. along the line he would be in some other Hall of Fame. But what an honor to be his first. And and cool to hear that he was and, and he still wears it as a badge of honor, right? It's kind of a Wichita State That's thing, right. the most under recruited player, knowing that and you know play angry, right? That's what it's all about. Was, what all right, eight six nine twelve forty. We're gonna come back. Our buddy Tim Fitzgerald, our K State insider, will join us in our next segment. He's stirring up a hornet's nest. It's kind of Tim's thing. We'll talk to him about that. Want to get to the latest in realignment with him as well, with some of the ACC rumblings we've heard lately. That's what happens when we turn the page on Sports Daily and go into hour number two.